What? That is not what I expected him to say. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching The Wolverine from 2013, the next movie in our X-Men journey. We finished first class last week. We skipped over X-Men Origins Wolverine because I have seen it. We can go back to it at some point, but I want to get to this one because this, this is one I have not seen. I'm going into this movie completely blind. I would have assumed it's an X, it's a Wolverine origin story, but we already got that in X-Men Origins Wolverine. So I guess this is just another like Wolverine quest story, something like that. We get to learn more about him, which is always really fun because he's a very interesting character. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the point through that would be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two MCU to the next two X-Men movies that I will be doing will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. Click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Oh, that's him. That's a B-29, Bob. There's no out running what's coming. Better off down here. Wait, is this fucking Hiroshima? I think they're about to get nuked. Oh god, yeah, he's about it. They're about to commit seppuku. Mm. Yeah, that's the nuke. He wants to see it first. He want, he's as soon as he sees that explosion. Oh, I can't even believe it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and Logan's gonna survive being down there. Oh, no. Bro, you didn't even shot it! Mm, ah, he's gonna shield him. Logan can take the damage. Oh, my God. He's literally in a can. It's not safe. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, that was a flashback. Where are you? Jean! Okay, I had no fucking idea she was in this. I had no idea. That's. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll never hurt you. It's too late. No! Yeah. No, Jean! No, no. Okay, she's not actually in this. It's just in his head. No! Because it's canned hot. No, Jean! No! Damn, it was a dream within a dream. That was cool to see her again. Sorry. Okay, so how much time has passed since the third movie then? Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Why is she recording him? There's no way she knows he's Wolverine. There's no fucking way. He does not look anything like Wolverine anymore. I mean, he wasn't like famous or anything. The X-Men aren't the fucking Avengers. <laughs> so really what she's doing is she's like, oh, I'm gonna record this bomb. <gasps> no, you're not gonna kill this bear. Ah! Damn, you killed the bear. What, put the bear out of his misery? Yep, these guys. He's gonna go press him because they just shot a bear and dip. You're the one who was attacked by the grizzly? I'm the one that survived. Ooh! And that's a poison broadhead, which last I heard was illegal. Go ahead, ask me where I found it. In the bear. Ah. I pulled it out of the back of a grizzly. Whoever shot it didn't put it out of its misery. <laughs> Sorry, Gene. <Jean. laughs> Sorry, Gene. I wouldn't bother with them. Most of them will die soon anyway, without your help. All right. A week from now, we're in the same truck. Wait, is she psychic? I'm packed in back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, the entire bar scene was kind of corny. The dialogue in it, <laughs> it didn't work for me, if I'm being honest. It felt like they were trying too hard to make Logan like a really tough guy. Me? I'm Yukio. I've been trying to find you for over a year. Why? I'll give you that. Oh, cool. My employer wanted you to have it. Who's your employer? Master Yashida. <laughs> I thought she was about to say Master Yoda. <laughs> he said it belongs to you and that he's paying all debts. Master Yashida is dying. He wants to say thank you for saving his life all those years ago. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. He very much wants to say his goodbye in person. All right, where is he? Tokyo. 
All right, we're going to Tokyo. I'm not going to Japan. And you seek what all soldiers do, an honorable death, an end to your pain. Who says I'm in pain? Look at that haircut, it's pretty obvious. Okay, nobody does that if they're not suffering, okay? <laughs> Kidding. It's to Yashida and I come right back. You said you knew the future of those assholes in the bar. I know they are going to die. Oh, you were just saying that? We are all going to die. Oh, all right, bud. Said they would die in the same truck in a week. No, nah, she just said that to get him to stop in the bar. Yes. Bro, he's a very wealthy man. You see all those advertisements with his name on it? Master Yashida is not well tonight. Bro, she's setting us up. Mm, does she remind him of Jean? Because Jean was like the doctor. Dude, yeah, clean him up. Or, like, get him to take a shower at least, but please cut his damn hair. Get in the tub. <laughs> ah, I feel like that would hurt. They're scrubbing him pretty hard. Oh, there we go. Looks so much better. Mm, I saw that. All right, change colors, right? Did I see that right? Oh, what kind of fucking, what kind of fucking bed is that? My oncologist. Mm, something's up with her. Oh, shit's inside of him. How did you go from a soldier, mega rich billionaire? Like, you probably, dude. It seems like he has more money than Tony Stark. <laughs> Offer you something no one else can. Eternity can be a curse. Hasn't be easy for you. The losses you have had to suffer. A man can run out of things to live for. Lose his purpose. Become a ronin. I can end your eternity. Make you mortal. Mmm. He, he, he might want that. We have reason to believe that your ability to heal can be passed from you to another. You have struggled long enough. Lord. I was not ready to die then. I'm not ready to die now. You are offering to kill me. No. Not right away. Grow old. And one day, die in a real death. Nice to see you again. Sorry you got sick. Please, Lola, son. I need you again. Please. That went to kill her. Who? Mariko. My granddaughter. She must be protected. You don't want what I've got. Ooh, the fuck? No, no, no! Okay, okay, he got her, he got her. Yeah, I think he likes her. Eternity can be a curse. Pain? He's considering it. How old are you? Interesting offer. Mm. Jean, she's back. What are you doing turning the old man down? Look, your first redhead crush was Wanda. Mine was Jean. Oh shit, it was this girl. Yeah, her eyes. Oh, she's trying to take. She's trying to extract his power out of it. I don't know what the hell that was. <gasps> he No, he died. He's dead. I didn't foresee it. Yeah, because you're not a sidekick. <laughs> Okay, obviously she had something to do with his death, probably. Bro, that's so obvious. <laughs> a rising star. He's Marco's fiance. Mm, oh, she's taken. Hey, that hasn't stopped Logan in the past. <laughs> They're the same about you. But then he was always fascinated with your kind. Tell me, why do you think he sent all of you to say goodbye? No, he won't reproduce your powers, maybe? Time for you to go back to your cave. Oh yeah, she likes him too. Damn, Logan's really about to steal a girl from another guy. He's about to do it again. He's about to be 2-0. Oh. That armor belonged to Shiriba Samurai. That silver... Damn. Stand watch over the old man forever. Aww. Dude, samurais are sick. Hmm. Is that what? Is it a tattoo? I don't know what. Hey, something's done right. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, they have this huge assassination attempt. Doesn't matter. Oh. What the fuck, bro? She's like fucking Medusa. What the hell? So that dude went to shoot her and then she just like entranced him or whatever. So he just like 
she spit in his mouth and it was just a bunch of it was acid <laughs> she's not really like medusa but that's just what came to mind this is the green i think <laughs> bro buddy ran into the car right there like he literally put his shoulder i mean the stun the guy who was doing that you know he did that on purpose but like for stun reasons i get why he did that but for the movie wise it's like it looks like he just like literally ran into the car himself He's back there. those were yakuza i'm fine why are they after you i'm fine I can make my way from here. You should go. Get yourself a doctor. She doesn't want to tell him why they're after her. She's gonna be right next. It's one of those bullet trains, right? I told you, I don't need your help. What do they do, like 300 miles an hour? Damn, I want to go on hell bad. Mm, I feel like he was behind it, too. He's like the leader of them, huh? This guy, too. This guy, too, is behind it. You are a toy doll companion for a child who has outgrown you. What the fuck? Keep that in mind. Yeah, this guy's definitely the villain. 100% the villain. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, bro. They're okay. I get he has regen, but that should fucking kill him. If he got hit right there... Like his body would literally explode in like a thousand different pieces. You know, how is he, how can he regen from that? <laughs> Fucking a nurse is throwing them around when they jump. <laughs> nah, that guy would have exploded. Are you kidding me? Bro, if you judge, oh yeah, I was about to say, oh my God, you're literally flying. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. How do you know they were Yakuza? They were the same guys from the temple. How yeah, I think that girl with uh, the green eyes who kissed him, she's making his power like wear off. You know, like it's still there, but it's it's not strong. You know. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, if his healing power is going down, wouldn't the animantium in him eventually just kill him? Because I thought the animantium in him was killing him, but his healing powers was keeping him alive. Still, is that right? I don't know. I I'm not sure. Why do you plan on sleeping? I don't. Dude, I want to go to Japan hella bad. I want to. I honestly just want to leave America so badly. I never have, and I want to so bad. But I would definitely go to Japan. It's so cool to check it out. Just let it go. It's not hard to die. Come to me. Mm. Bro, he's dying, bro. He's losing the will to live. Not exactly, but his healing power is wearing off for sure. What, what, why is there a goat? Why is Aaron Rodgers in here? I never needed this before. One who helps your grandfather, the blonde. He met her last year when he was in America for treatment. Your grandfather told me my healing could be taken from me. Passed on. That's what she did. She took it. Not all of it, but she took a percentage. Bring me the mutant. I don't work for you. I work for the house of your. <gasps> oh. Where are we? Just outside Nagasaki. Oh, we. Oh, that's where the new cat went off. Chopsticks up the right are a bad omen. I really like Japanese culture. It's really interesting. You knew he was going to die. So what then? What did he tell you that night? Marco, why did your father hit you? When they read his will, I will become the most powerful person in Japan. Oh, okay. Giving all of his wealth to her. He gave it all to me. And they do not like that. They want and they want his money. Alright, makes sense. Her father wants the money. Alright. I didn't want it. He knew that. I don't understand why he gave it to me. Because you're the one who didn't want it. That's all my father dreamed of. Yeah. Well, that's why. Because you'd actually be responsible with all the money versus your father might just blow it all and a bunch of just dumb shit. So. He seems like kind of an asshole. <laughs> Gives him better access to the political theater. To disobey my father would be to dishonor him. I don't expect you to understand. Yeah, he put his chopsticks back up. Like, he doesn't understand if he disobeys him, it would be to dishonor him. And I like how part of the cult, how big of a deal that is to their culture and everything, so. God damn, why is it? He's fucking shredded. 
Oh, is that the spot? Oh, and then from the beginning. Please take it. Thank you. It's beautiful, Yoshida. And I can't take it. I mean, yeah, it's like it's a gift for saving his life and everything, but what's he supposed to do with that? <laughs> Radiation killed him too. Not Logan, but him. So I met your grandfather. We hid in there. If that everything in the world finds peace, eventually that man can recover from anything. Maybe you too. You call out in the night. Who's Jean? Ooh, ooh. <sighs> They're gonna have a moment. My grandfather called me a Ronan. Destined to live forever. There's no reason to live. She could be a reason. A new reason. Still. Oh. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, kiss, 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 kiss. I like the robes they wear too. Pretty sick. It's like um, in jujitsu when we wear the geese, kind of traditional like that. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, he sees Jean in her, dude. That's why he's attracted to her. Everyone you love dies. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that Loki scared me. Oh, that was in his head. Who's Jean? Is she like you? Yeah, she went insane and killed everyone. Not everyone, but killed her professor. So I had to put her down. I killed her. Oof. Bro, you should give context on like why you killed her. Not don't just don't just stop right there. Like keep keep going. What is she just getting a vision? Oh shit, they're taking her. Take me to know, bro. I need to tell you something. Do it. Now. Okay, well you can tell him on the drive here. Like what do you what do you have to tell him? Like you you still have time to tell him. I saw you die. What? Why are you waiting till just now to tell him? You had plenty of time on the drive here. Why are you waiting till he's just getting out? It's not like I get a complete picture, but I'm always right. So he does die at some point. I see you on your back. There's blood everywhere. I'd imagine it'd be pretty violent death. Holding your own heart in your hand. Oh, how does he die to where he ends up with his heart in his fucking hand? How, what would have to happen for that end like that? A lot of people have tried to kill me and I'm still here. But you're different now, aren't you? They can hurt you. They can kill you. You're just a mere man now. He, he got shot in the leg. He, he, he has to go to the hospital for that now. Like, like that shit's not you. Like, like, dude, like, he's still limping. To explain to me why you would want your fiance killed by the Yakuza. Don't like what you say. You're going through that window. You don't money. have a faintest idea of what's going on. Oh, oh. <clears throat> for the will. Yoshida spent billions on doctors, healers, stockpiling adamantium at his lab mm. in the north, secretly trying to prolong his life. He brought the company to the edge of bankruptcy. He was obsessed with you. He liked, protected the old man, concealed the debt from stockholders in the board. He tried to be a good son and thought he'd be rewarded. And then the old man left everything to his granddaughter. You might have got all the power. Shoot. Can I maybe a little bit taste if I was a dad too then? Shingen promised me a fortune for my head. So you put a hit on his daughter. Political careers don't last forever. Damn. Wait, no! Just throw him out you the window. The truth. I told you the truth. Focus. I didn't Should've... like it. <laughs> Should have lied, buddy. Oh, he just threw him in a pool. How did you know there's a pool down there? I yeah. didn't. Oh. <laughs> mm, buddy thinks he's fucking Charles Xavier from 1962. Oh my fucking gosh. Guys are quiet. He has to bring Logan to the other girl. The Viper. Ooh. This, this here. Where is this? The company built a facility into the mountainside. Uh, is he gonna try and figure out how to get his power back? Maybe with this machine. He like he literally has to to save her, dude. There's nothing he can do. 
You gotta rip that shit out. That's what's killing you. How? Stop, Logan. I so yeah. No way he's gonna. This is how he dies. This is how he dies. He rips his fucking heart out. Yeah, that's why he had his heart in his hand because he tried to take this thing out. Not with that thing inside me. You're going to die. Who the fuck was that? Okay. Uh, no. And this is what's stopping his power. No. Uh, no. Uh, uh. Oh, what great fucking timing. You gotta fade him. You gotta fade him to buy Logan time. Did you do it? Uh, what the fuck is that? Well, Mrs. Green, the mutant, put that down his throat when. Oh, he's not dead. 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 Dude, no, he's not. No, he's shut the fuck up. He's not dead. He's not. I know. Oh, but he's healing. He's healing. He's healing. It worked. It fucking worked. Now it's gone. He can actually heal now. So he didn't rip his heart out. His heart's not out. So he's good. He's about to just pop up and fuck this dude up. That's what's about to happen. Yeah. That ruined this house. Well, Logan's back and better than ever. He's waxing you. Doesn't even matter if you fucking got him now. <laughs> oh, he fucking got him, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> you got him twice. Honestly, this guy's pretty damn good. But Dude, yeah, that's the third time he's gotten Logan, but it doesn't fucking matter. Logan hasn't fucking hurt him once. This guy's pretty nice. Logan's gonna win no matter what. You tried to kill your daughter. Live with that. Oh, shit. Because, I mean, he wasn't gonna kill Logan regardless. And it's like, just... But he's still gonna try and kill us, so we gotta kill him. Yeah. We got each other. <laughs> A monster, are you? The Wolverine. <laughs> a mutant. You study genetics, like you should know. Like, what, what the fuck was that? Is this fool making a fuck a samurai Iron Man suit? <laughs> that would be pretty lit, actually. That would be pretty nice. Why do you think the old man chose you? A deeper reason besides just not wanting the money. Dude, that is an Iron Man suit. That is a samurai Iron Man suit. That has to be. It's big as hell, like a um, Jedediah's version in the first movie, too. If it is supposed to be like a samurai Iron Man suit. We are grateful for your protection of Mariko, but there's one more sacrifice you must make for her family. Go fuck yourself, pretty boy. <laughs> what? What? That is not what I expected him to say. Mm. <laughs> just realized these guys remind me of the league of shadows from uh the show arrow you know when arrow was beefing with raz al ghul I, i'm pretty sure they're called the league of shadows he's here to save me god damn dude they're getting it but all these arrow oh, all these arrows have like a rope on the back so it's like Well, he's not dead. It's just enough to slow him down. No, mm, they got him in this fucking contraption. Impressive, no? He's made of adamantium. So he's basically indestructible. All right. When did you open these bracelets? And we'll see who's made of what. Mm. <laughs> he just missed her. Fuck. Now we can begin. <laughs> she baited him into doing that. She had his hands just far enough apart. To where she knew she'd fit right in between. Try to get bait him in the opening them and then trap him. So he can't he can't retract them or anything. Okay, is there someone in that? Or is that an AI robot samurai? Like I swear to god, if it just opens up from the chest and there's someone in it, that's a that's an Iron Man suit. I don't care. No, you're, you're not about to cut him off. No, you're not. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> 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 
stupid. <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're fucking hissing and then we just got shot. <laughs> All right, even though Mariko just totally stabbed him in the leg, he's still a bro looking out for us. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh, she's like a reptile. She just fucking shedded her skin. Ew. Yeah! Oh, <gasps> no! He just fucking cut his claws off! Ah! Ah! got him! Oh my god! That doesn't heal? Th that doesn't heal! I don't think it does, because it's not like... It's not like a skin. It's not an organ, you know, even though it's inside of him. Nah, this thing's like, this is like a transformer samurai. This is not the way. <gasps> RP. Two hands. Two hands. Oh, it activates it. Damn. Oh, okay. Ooh, waxed. Damn. He died with honor, though. <laughs> Again? What the fuck? <laughs> they cut his other fucking... <laughs> Bro. Cut his other fucking pair of gloss off, too. <laughs> Bro, you gotta hit her with the fucking Asodogari into a... Into a Juji Katami. She almost got to hit her with a Yoko Senkaku, too. Japanese names for jujitsu moves. First move is ju <gasps> Waxed! She should be dead. Oh. Bro. Oh, she should have ripped his fucking claws out, huh? Oh. Oh. God damn, it's about to just whip his fucking claws out. Oh my god. All the adamantium just straight out of his fucking arms. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't what? Look so shocked. What? What? Bro, this is like the fucking Squid Games twist. What? He's a fucking Iron Man suit. It's only this armor that's kept me alive. So I can take what you would not give. Uh, My legacy must be preserved. Your mistake was to believe that a life without end can have no meaning. Bro, you, you talked him into thinking that. Hold on. God damn, look at him. You long talk. Bro, you said an ordinary dad. This is not ordinary. Invincible. Come on, Mariko. <laughs> yep, yeah, and she said she was good at the throwing knives. It's me, your grandfather. I buried my grandfather. Oof. <laughs> She's hard for that. <laughs> oh, they're just baby claws now. That's Ask me to come say goodbye. You're here. Of course. Can you stay? Bro, this kind of feels like Deadpool too when he saw his, his dead kid's girlfriend. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be mocking this then. Yes, you can. Would you want it? But instead she's telling she's telling Deadpool you can't stay, you have to keep going or something. I'm not alone here. Oh, but in this, it's, she's, she wants Logan to come in this. I love you, Jean. Mariko said we can go wherever we want. Say where? Oh, well, where do you want to go? Let's just start with up. And then? You can't take off on a plane and not know where you're going. We'll see. Like, what, do, what do you mean we'll see? Okay, well, whatever. She's paying for the fuel, I guess. So, like, whatever. It's not like driving. You can't just decide where you want to go late. Like, all right, whatever. All right, well, that was The Wolverine from 2013. Any, any post credits? It's Magneto? Is it Magneto here? Sir, I wait. All right, that was it. Yep. Oh my God. So motherfucker. There are dark forces. Wolverine is building a weapon that could bring about the end. Of our kind. Bro, that's a bin happening. This is a new information. But I want, I want your help. Wait, everyone, is Charles here? Cause everyone just froze. Yep, I, Charles has to be here cause everyone's frozen. Wait, he's dead, but then he gained his con. <gasps> Hello, Logan. Motherfucker, I saw you explode. How is this possible? As I told you a long time ago, you're not the only one with gifts. <laughs> What a f 
fucking mid credit scene. Okay, well, yeah, they tease that at the end of X-Men 3. I wish they hadn't done that now, because it's like, then that would have been a way bigger shock. I mean, it was still a pretty big shock. I didn't I didn't ever expect them to see Patrick Stewart on screen again. For some reason, I was like kind of hoping it was going to be James McAvoy, but then it's like, well, Magneto is not Michael Fassbender, so why would it be James McAvoy? But I was like, dude, what if? But nah, it's not. I still really like Patrick Stewart as, as Charles, but like, I think I like James McAvoy more, to be honest. But what movie is this teasing? Let's see. Days of Future Past. Okay, now we got we got that movie next. I can't wait to get to that one now. All right, well, that was The Wolverine from 2003. This was a fun movie. This was a very fun movie. I really loved how we were in Tokyo, Japan for this. Japanese culture is always cool to see in movies and stuff. The visuals of the movie were really nice, but I love the Japanese architecture. It's so interesting to me. I would say my only gripe with the movie is like some lines just came off kind of corny. But besides that, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good movie besides that. Pretty crazy twist how the dude he saved became the villain in the end, trying to take his power, to take his healing power so he could stay young forever and run his empire forever, his business. You know, he made a good point. Once you live forever, you're gonna you're not you're gonna run out of a purpose to live for eventually you know logan's been alive for so long like how long has logan been alive for all right he's born in 1832 so all right damn he's been around for a minute and so yeah he's everyone he's ever known and loved has died <laughs> He's lived many lifetimes. You're gonna get tired of that eventually, you know? You're just gonna become emotionally exhausted from it. You're just gonna be done with it. So like, I kind of get it, but he wasn't like, he never said like, yes, take this away from me. Like just offered it to him and he was like, okay, maybe. And then they like, took it from him by force and then he was trying to get it back or whatever. And then they took it again from him at the end of the movie and stuff. So he never like said like, yes, let's do it. Like, nah, he was always, he was like, uh, I'll think about it. Okay, we definitely gotta get back to um, x-men origins wolverine though i'm gonna get to that one very soon i think so now we have days of future past x-men apocalypse logan dark phoenix but yeah i can't i can't wait for days of future past i can't wait for that one where would i rank this in the x-men movie so far I, it's hard to say to be honest because i wouldn't really say this is a solo movie i, I will say okay from what i remember from x-men origins I think I like this one better. It's been a it's been a very long time since I've seen X Men Origins, but I, but I think I remember enough to be able to compare them. I think this one was better than X Men Origins. So, but X Men One, Two, Three, and First Class. It's hard to rank them against the Wolverine because those are like full X Men movies. Okay, okay. I think I'd go First Class, The Last Stand. Oh. Oh, and my camera just shut off. I love that for us. We ran out of recording space. That is wonderful. All right, I'm gonna make this super quick. Uh, X-Men First Class, The Last Stand, arguably The Wolverine, X-Men 2, X-Men 1. I don't know, the bot, the last three. I guess you could flop in any order, to be honest. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. Comment down below what you thought about this movie, down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.